Hey guys, this is Etan Sun from Sunbros. Today I'm really excited to be bringing you guys this brand new video. But before we get started with that, I want to make sure I remind you guys on how to get entered in for a chance to win our guaranteed skin giveaways that we do every Sunday night during our one hour question and answer live stream. All you got to do is make sure you're subscribed to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and comment below with your in game name and which skin you'd like to receive on either the NA or EU servers under 700 vouchers. And remember, the more videos that you do this with that are uploaded each week, the higher chance you have to win. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started with this hero quick look video of our brand new hero, Liliana. All right, Liliana is a class mage assassin role mobility finisher. As you guys can see in the bottom left corner, she has below average constitution, above average attack damage, and then almost maxed out ability damage and difficulty. Liliana's passive is fox form. Human form grants range attack. Fox form increases armor and magic defense by 20 plus 5 per level and gives her movement speed. Normal attacks while in fox form deal magic damage. Liliana's first ability is shining light. Liliana focuses her magic and deals a bunch of magic damage to enemies in the target area. If the ability hits two or more enemy heroes, then normal attacks are enhanced to deal extra damage based on the percent max HP of the enemy hero for the next four seconds. Liliana's second ability is Blinding Light. Liliana fires a magic missile that explodes upon reaching an enemy target, dealing damage to nearby enemies and stunning them. And Liliana's ultimate is unpredictable. Liliana charges in the target direction enters Fox form, dealing a bunch of magic damage to enemies along the path and slowing them down. Liliana cannot be targeted while charging, and she gains a bunch of armor and magic resist, as well as ability power for a short period of time after entering Fox form. Alright, now as we just read in the ultimate of Liliana's, she does enter Fox form and has an entirely different set of abilities while in Fox form. Her first ability is Fox Trot. Liliana attacks a target with her tails, dealing magic damage, and her next normal attack is enhanced, dealing magic damage three times, and she also dashes forward. Liliana's second ability is Leap of the Fox. Liliana and it leaps in the target direction, dealing magic damage to enemies along the path. The ability turns into Reiki Shot and becomes immediately usable if an enemy hero is hit, firing Reiki shots at the enemy hero, dealing a ton of magic damage to the target and nearby enemies. Liliana's ultimate in Fox form is unpredictable. Liliana teleports to the target location and returns to human form, leaving magic circles behind at both the origin and the destination locations that reduces the movement speed of enemies inside the circles. Additionally, the circles explode after one second, dealing a lot of magic damage, and Liliana cannot be targeted while teleporting, and she gains ability power for a short time after entering human form. Alright guys, next we're going to be going over the pros and cons on Liliana. These are her strengths, things you're going to want to focus on if you're playing as her, and things you're going to want to avoid if you're playing against her. Liliana's first pro is her incredible survivability, especially when you consider that she's a mage. Liliana's passive fox form gives her magic defense and armor, starting at 20 and going up 5 per level for a total of 95. Additionally, when Liliana enters Fox form, she gains an additional 240 armor and magic defense at level 3, giving her a total of 335 magic defense and armor for the first 2.5 seconds that she's in Fox form. Because the cooldowns start at 7 seconds on her ultimate and it's so low, a little bit of cooldown reduction gets you even lower and you can pretty much go back and forth from human and Fox form, gaining that extra magic defense and armor whenever you like. And what makes her survivability even better as a mage is her second pro that we're going to be talking about right now. Liliana has incredible mobility for a mage as she's able to dash an amazing three times between both forms. And I know what you're thinking, three dashes, that's crazy for a mage, but it gets better. Not only does she have three dashes, two of those dashes are actually her ultimate that she can do back and forth between human and fox form, and she becomes completely untargetable while she's dashing with her ult in both forms. All right, and moving on to Liliana's third pro, and that's her incredible damage potential. Liliana is a really solid bursty mage, and that's only including her human form. While her first and second ability in human form are skill shots, they both do a pretty decent amount of damage, especially her first ability, Shining Light. In Fox form, her first ability, Foxtrot, does a pretty good amount of damage also, but it definitely is not the star. The star in Fox form is her second ability, Leap of the Fox, which once she dashes through an enemy hero can then turn into Reiki Shot, which deals 
an absolutely insane amount of damage if you land it. And when you learn to put her human form and fox form abilities together in beautiful synchronized symphony, it'll do an incredible amount of damage that will leave your enemies wondering what the hell just happened. All right, in Liliana's fourth and final pro is that she has a really deep kit potential. What I mean by that is that because she has six total abilities and they're such low cooldowns, the amount of things that you can actually output as Liliana is extremely vast and the potential is sky high. All right, guys, now we're going to be moving on to Liliana's cons. These are her weaknesses, things you're going to want to avoid if you're playing as her, and things you're going to want to take advantage of or exploit if you're playing against her. Liliana's first con is that she's very susceptible to crowd control. Even though Liliana can go untargetable two times with her ultimate, going back and forth from human form to fox form, if she gets caught in human form and gets crowd control without any of that extra magic resist or armor that she gets in fox form, she can easily get burstened out and killed. So while she does have some pretty unique ways of getting out of this, it's still a very real possibility for her because at the end of the day, in human form, she's still just a mage. All right, now Liliana's second con is that while she has some incredible abilities and you can use them extremely effectively to do good, you can also use them to get yourself in trouble if you're not being careful. I'd say for sure one of the most important things about Liliana and playing her is having great positional awareness because if you cast one of her dizzying array of dashes and abilities in the wrong direction at the wrong time, you're sure to find yourself dead. And that leads me to my third and final con for Liliana, which is that she's going to be really hard to master. Even though some people will be able to pick her up and do pretty well with her right off the bat, in order to master the incredible depth that is Liliana's kit, it's going to take a long time and going to take a very, very skilled player. You may get really good at her, but she'll continue to give you ways in which you can grow in using her to become more proficient, more sound, and I'm willing to bet that even 100, 200, 300, 400 games into Liliana, you're still figuring out ways to use her abilities and other ways that more beginner players can can't figure out. All right, guys, that is it for Liliana's hero quick look video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember tomorrow, we're going to be putting out an incredible, amazing, phenomenal how to build video on Liliana so you guys can get the best Sun Bros build as always. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. And as always, till next time.